we're going to talk a little bit about a small queen, as you can see. So one, the, the three cent small queen from Queen Victoria was a, a popular issue. And we'll talk more about the stamp. Uh, but first, we're going to talk a little bit about Pelee North. It's on Pelee Island, which is a Canadian island in Lake Erie. It is considered the, it is, no, it isn't considered, it is the southernmost point of Canada. So here's a trivia question oh, yes. first. What Canadian oh, yes. city is directly south of an American city? Windsor. Correct. Windsor, Ontario is directly south oh. of Detroit, Michigan. And here we're going to see that on this map. Here's Detroit and Windsor. But way down here is Pelee Island. This is the border between Canada and the U.S. here. And so we're looking at this little island. There's a little post office on it. There's Detroit and Windsor, and there's the island. So here's the island. There's a little place called Scooter at the top. This is an aerial view from an airplane of it. It's only about three miles by five miles in size. So 15 square kilometers, 15 square miles. 2016 population was 235, but it is popular for ecotourism because it is on bird and migration uh, monarch right. butterfly migration routes. <laughs> so for the mind, when I think of Montpelier Island, most Ontario people would think of the monarch butterflies. So I've copied this directly from the, the websites there. Most adult monarchs live for about a month during which they mate and lay eggs. One special generation live for about six months. They emerge in late August and September, and they don't have the urge to reproduce. Instead, they migrate. And if, I thought this was kind of interesting. Here it is that for also for a few special days in Autumn Point, Pelee is the temporary home to thousands of migrating monarch butterflies. As soon as favorable conditions occur, they begin one of nature's greatest journeys by crossing Lake Erie. They cannot linger for their destination is some 3,000 kilometers, 1,200, 2,200 miles further south in the mountains of South Mexico. And I thought it was kind of unique when I when I read about Pelee Island and the monarch butterfly migration routes, but it's not. Monarch butterflies migrate from all over North America, down the eastern seaboard, all the way. It's, it's not unique, Pelee Island, in that respect. <laughs> A lot of butterflies that come from all different directions, all heading down to Mexico. Interesting, this is one thing I did read, that the toxins in the milkweed plant are incorporated into the body of the monarch caterpillar and later the adult, making them taste terrible and preventing many predators like birds from eating them. Huh. Here we do have this cancellation, Peely North, April 20th. The actual stamp was used, for this, the, this is the, uh, the number 41. We used between 88 and 97. It is a reprint of the earlier number 37, which was printed, started printing in 1870. And of course, there's numerous shades, perforations, varieties, different papers, uh, all kinds of varieties on this one. Uh, many, many re-entries. What's particularly interesting about this one, though, and the reason it's caught my attention is that the Pelee North Post Office opened on April 16, 1896. Postmaster was Colin B. Quick. And the man this manuscript canceled four days after opening, April 20th, likely because he had not received his official hammer. If he had put April 20th, 96, it would have been fabulous, but he didn't put the year but I think we can be pretty sure that this is um, a manuscript cancel four days after the post office opened. Healy North was renamed Scooter, that little community at the top there on April 1st, 1903. And the Scooter post office closed after exactly 75 years of service on March 31st, 1978. Here is on the website you can on, on Library and Archives Canada, you can actually get the name of the Scooter post office check out yes call and be quick 1896 uh april 16th and then he left the post well what 18 years later and that's it an interesting stamp with a little bit of a story and a little bit of natural history associated with it